G'day guys, my name's Josh, yo, can call me Ja Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17, where I am back in the Gyrocopter Speedrun Challenge, you can tell because I've paused the game, because every second counts, I want to find out how quickly I can get the Gyrocopter and escape the apocalypse, playing the game in a completely vanilla, just normal default settings, how quickly can I get the job done, and so far, it's going reasonably well, it's not, I mean, it's not the best start I've ever had to a game, but it's also definitely not the worst, especially with, I mean, sometimes I break legs by falling into haystacks, because that makes sense, but anyway, whatever, I've got a bunch of just random gubbins on me, let's get rid of all of you for now, and I can sort you out later, um, I'll keep that one, because everyone always needs to have a bandage on them, alright, that should be good enough for now, uh, I will... Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Okay, right. Let's leave the barn once again. Head out into the big, wide, open world and see what there is to do. I should really put some hay bales down there so I can jump down out of that way, but that's all right. Oh, don't break your legs. Didn't break my legs this time. All right, we're off to a good start to the episode. We need to find somewhere else to loot. We need to find somewhere better to get some better loot, better mods, better anything, better weapons, because it's about the time I need to start thinking about making some sort of killing corridor to defend against screamers. I want to try and lure in as many screamers as I can and then just like harvest them for XP, but you can only really do that effectively at night time. So that is kind of like the second half of today job for the, for the morning at the very least i'm gonna head out into town and see what i can find I'm gonna quickly wake up whoever's inside here and see if they can just let me in and loot the place uh and while they're doing that there's usually like some axles and stuff on the ground around here that you can break down to get like forged steel and things which i need because i need to uh repair some of my tools some of my equipment has seen some better days uh, let's just scrap those ones. In fact, someone's even beaten down the wall over here already. So it's toilet for a pistol. No pistol. No such luck. Hey, uh, oh god, there's a lot of you. Hey, Arlene. How you doing? That's right. I've become proficient, or at least mildly proficient, with the old sledgy boy. So I'm okay taking on whatever you want to throw at me. I don't particularly mind. One more to do it. In we go. What have you got for me? Anything good? A shotgun that's worse than mine. So scrap that. Scrap the steel crossbow bolts. Take that. Take the arrows. Take the bullets. Alright, not a bad time. I don't mind spending the time beating my way into safes. It actually gives me something on the other end. Is anyone alive in here? Is a tree coming through the wall? Oh, there's one of the axles. Okay, that's the thing that gives me like the forged steel and stuff. So I'm going to break down that. But I need to get everyone's attention first. Could you all come over here very nicely? Doesn't matter what kind of order you come in. You'll all die equally. I just need to like, make sure you don't crowd me. I don't, I'm like claustrophobic in crowds. I don't want people like smothering me. But just give me a chance and I'll get to all of this. Forged steel, some forged iron, which is all very, very good. The forged steel is good because I can repair the uh, the wrench I'm using to get this with, which so it means it's like it's a it's a net positive. There's no no loss here. Repair that one, repair that one, repair that one. Alright, all my tools are back to full health. Quickly break this one. Ooh! <laughs> it's only a schematic, but I appreciate it all the same. Some denim jeans. I'm already wearing denim jeans, so we'll scrap that one. Uh, let's quickly break out the bed for the extra experience it gives me. And the springs. Springs are also very helpful. And then we can finally leave the junkyard. It's already 8 o'clock in the morning. We've got things to do today. Another barn. Never a bad time if you're finding yourself a bunch of barns. Also some waterworks is down there and a construction site. So enough stuff here to really tide me over for a little bit. I might even just go on one big raid to the construction site. That might be a better option, a better use of my time early on when the zombies are still relatively easy to kill than later. Oh, damn it. And later when I'm like trying to fight radiators and shit. That's just going to make life a whole lot harder. Die please. God, you are one tough bastard. Those hard hats are the king of head protection. You can take a sledgehammer to the face and not even blink. I've got no bloody wood frames. How did that happen to me? God, I left them all back at the junkyard. Craft a bunch of those. This is not no crafting. It's fine. Don't worry. I know everyone likes to tell me when I craft stuff now. I kind of regret making a no crafting series because of that exact reason. But it's all right. All right, we're in. What has the hidden stash got for me? Oh. I hate it. I hate it. I hate everything. So because I landed on the edge of this hay bale here, I broke my leg. That doesn't make any fucking sense, game. It's all still hay. Oh, god damn it. Good news is I have the stuff to make myself a splint. The bad news is I'm still really mad about it. I'm so, I'm so, so pissed off about that one. Um, I just, what are you going to take? going to take half an hour to heal. Oh, my god. I'm just, I'm just so, why is that a thing? How is that even an option in this game? How, if I land on the, the wrong part of the soft, cushy, squishy bit, does it still count as me landing on basically concrete? 
Oh, yeah, 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 whatever. Not even mad. Only a little bit mad, actually very mad. But I get to take out my anger on some zombie Jeffries over here. Is anyone actually spawned over here? Sneak on through. Yep, there's a guy right there. Probably one in the corner too. But working Stiff's tools should hopefully give me something good. Nice, 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 nice. And reach. Yes, I love... Wait, how did you wear that? I stealth you in the back of there with a sledgehammer. How did you survive? Not much in the way of loot. Found some like some nuggets and diamonds and things like that, and two paintbrushes, which is relatively useless. Uh, I'm pretty full up on stuff too. Don't have a lot in the way of uh of food. I'll eat some pears. Hmm. 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 Interesting. 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 I don't know what the next move is going to be. Uh, can I? Oh, I've got bloody food poisoning now because I ate. I ate one can of pears. And got food poisoning. That just, uh, that just sucks, but I've got some honey, so I'll, I'll eat that. Hey, Arlene, how you doing? I'll be right down. Just give me a second not to break my other ankle. Break all these. Hey, darling, how you doing? How's your life with the cowboy? Do you regret all your decisions yet? I hope you do. You should, because that was, uh, you are, you've done goofed on that one. I didn't even realize I have two skill points available. What am I going to put that into? Can I put, uh, any more in heavy metal? Maybe not. Uh, pack me won't be helpful. I can't put any more into there anyway. Uh, let's go a strength, and then maybe, maybe just another heavy metal. Since I'm relying on the sledges so much, I know pack meal will be very, very helpful right now. Oh, there's a triple. As much as I want to go raid the, um, uh, what we call it, the construction site over there, I can probably hit the triple pretty quickly. How you doing, Tubbs? All oh, right, the noggin. I mean, you're making a pretty easy target. My strategy for melee is to aim for the chin. And all matey potato here has about 14 chins, so it makes a pretty easy target for me. Just gonna leave all the stuff I don't need in this shopping cart. Don't need the nuggets for now. In fact, all of this can kind of go. Bandages I will keep on me. The shovel can go. All of this stuff. All this stuff I'm gonna take with me later can go in the shopping trolley. There we go. Good. That should be enough. That sounded horrific. It was just the shopping trolley sound though. So rather than uh, making a box, just use what's around. I see. I see an Arlene. Anyone hiding in the corners? Yep. Let's see if I can do this all nice and stealth like. Good. Did that wake anyone up? I hope not. I'm trying to just like rely on my melee and my stealth. Oh, it's Chelsea! Oh no, I, I confused Chelsea with Arlene. Oh no, I'm never going to live that one down. Oh, I'm very, very sorry. You are my only... I'm sorry, Chelsea. Look, mwah, mwah, mwah. You, are, you are my girl. I won't ever forget it again. Arlene, you didn't hear that. Don't worry about it. I can't see Big Mama's head, so I'm going to try and take out the hoodie instead. <gasps> no, I missed. I missed and I hit the bloody... I hit the box next to him and he woke up. Why is hitting a, like a soft cardboard box louder than caving in zombie skulls? I don't know, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. I can't, <laughs> can't appeal the decision now. I have to just wear this oh, as best I can. Hey, Arlene, we've run through. One right and we're scone for you too. There's a lot of zombies in here, which is why I didn't want to wake them up. And the Halloween nurse. God, they're all out to play today. I know there are lots of zombies in this room, so I need to make sure all my decisions are good ones. But I need to get up there. Which I could just use the frames to get up, or I could climb up that toilet and stuff. I should probably just work my way through this room first and clear out all the zombies. Because it's going to give me extra XP that is more important to me right now. How did you wake up from that? How did you wake up? I was right there. I had you. I was already like mid-swing, and then you came too. God, I hate when that happens. You, you oh, that's good. Good decision coming in here first, and you gave me some extra loot. What do you got for me? Another shotgun and some more shells whilst- Ow! Ow, you fucking bitch, Arlene! For God's sake! I was busy scrapping shotties, and you came down behind me and clipped the back of my ears. Oh, and then there, all the Chelsea's in the roof came down too! Well, I should have stayed silent because I just made problems for myself. Ow, 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 ow. That was bad, that was bad. Use the bandage. Oh, I turned around and there was a bloody Chelsea and old man here. I don't have, have a name for him. I really need a name. All right, let's just get through here. Oh, boy. Yep, this room is a bad time to make any sort of a whisper of a noise. I was just looting shit and I woke everyone up, apparently. Take the lovely shortcut way underneath the pipes in the ceiling. Run across here because it's all broken floors. Damn it, I didn't quite make it. Oh, I thought I was there. I know there's guys inside that room, so I don't want to make too much noise getting across there. But actually, making the jump to start with would probably be a good, a good thing. Josh, what is wrong with you today? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why is all your skills in just moving around like a regular person with two feet and two arms suddenly beyond you?
There we go. Okay, let's try this again. Where's all the Jeffries? The good news is that this joint is giving me levels up like crazy. I just spent two more points on another uh, Sex T-Rex and another Pack Mule. How you doing, buddy? I know there's a bunch of you up here, actually, so I'm not going to pick up too much of a fight. And on the other side of that wall is usually nothing but dogs and bad times. Kill you. Anyone around the back here? And, oh, military. Oh! Oh, I thought it was another military. It's all right. Okay, take care of you and take care of you. But I still, I still hate the hoodies more than anything. I'll take uh, a, a pack of uh, military Z's any day over a pack of hoodies. The guardians haven't spawned yet, or at least if they haven't, then there isn't any. Uh, although it looks like there's one vulture. There's usually more than just that though. Quickly kill the vulture. Anyone else? Anything else over here? Oh, there's okay. One, one puppy. Any more? And then, oh, okay, more vultures. Kill the vultures first. Because the dog apparently is like not a real dog because it doesn't have very good hearing at all. Put one through the back behind here. Oh, he wore it like a champion. No, no, stop, stop, stop. No, you can't get up here. I'm on a mildly high fence. You can't get me here. I know you guys hate when I loot things and don't show you what I got. So I've opened all the boxes in preparation for me to go on my little looting spree. I could have really, I would have really enjoyed getting uh, some sort of food out of that Shamway box. Wasn't to be. It's just another fire axe. God damn, how many freaking fire axes does one man need? I just had three of them. A crossbow. I'll take the crossbow for now. I don't like crossbows. I, they don't... Oh, another level two compound bow. That is actually pretty good. Uh, they don't work the uh, any better than the compi bow. The compi bow shoots faster, more accurately. People are like, oh, you click to fire instead of releasing the fire, which they like better. And that's fine. If you like the, the crossbow better, absolutely use it. That is your prerogative. But for me... It just doesn't doesn't suit the way I play. That's good. I'll take that. I'll take all that. But I'll put that mod straight into this bad boy. Boop. Just like that. Thank you. Oh, okay. So that is the loot of the triple done. I need to find like a quick way down. Can I go around some other way? It doesn't involve me having to fight way through the rest of the building. I almost landed on that landmine. No, it wasn't landmine. Just some spikes. All right. Let's go down here. Just like dup, 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 dup. Like this. Don't break your other ankle. Onto the toilet. Can I loot this toilet? I can loot this toilet. <laughs> I love it. I love that I can do that and drop down here. And look at that. We're back at our shopping cart full of all our crap. There's nothing else here particularly tempting. So I might quickly run over to the construction site. Oh, the booby trap. And... Uh, oh, that's a day kiss. And all oh, the day kiss that has some good loot on top of it, though. And I have 44 frames. I might be able to... Oh, but I need the experience. I can't... Okay, I might just quickly hit this one because it's a relatively easy POI. I can't... That's the problem. I can't just skip... POIs now. I mean, I kind of did in that last one, but I still did, like, the majority of it. But I can't just, like, build up to... Am I going the right way now? I completely turned around for a second that way. I can't just build up to the loot and then take the loot and run away again, because I need the experience points to try and make my character as good as I possibly can. I'm over-encumbered again. What in here don't I need right now? I mean, springs will come in handy later, but I can always get them easily again. I'll scrap that, and I'll scrap the two pistols, because I don't need extras of those. I'll take the ammo out of them instead. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So uh, this is the problem, you know? I'm trying to think efficiently wise. Sure, it's more efficient just to build up and get the loot, but I need, I need them points. I need them skill points to make my life just that little bit better. That's definitely going to help me in this one particular moment. Ninja movement and light armor. I'll take both of those. I'm pretty hungry though. My stamina is down because of my food, not because of my water. Look at that. I'm only making six lots of, uh, of noise. Not much at all. Oh, come on! I had ninja movement on! You're not supposed to be able to hear me murder people. Sure, his head literally exploded like a grenade, but that can't make that much noise. How don't you should just be like nice and silent waiting for me to uh, take my turn killing you as well? Anything in the trash? Potato seed? I don't need seeds in this playthrough. You hiding anything gorgeous? No, nope, nothing at all. All right, well, let's make some noise now. Oh, Jesus! God, they snuck up on me. They were, they were very slowly moving towards me. I didn't see them coming. Oh! Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, wow, that hurt so much. Someone punched a can and all of my health went away. Holy Jesus. Who did that? Oh, Chelsea, could you wear some underwear? Jesus Christ. I don't want to say that kind of stuff when I'm trying to like, fight for my life out here. Did they just ruin the POI by doing that, by the way? Like, can I not get through here anymore? I need to go raid the kitchen because I need uh, to find some food. I also need to just, like... Well, I can only... Imp I only have normal bandages left. That's only going to improve, like, the black bar at the end of my health, not my actual health. Surely someone stashed some cans of something in here. I really need it. I need something to eat. Something, please. Anything will do. Oh, a cooking grill. That's actually pretty helpful. All my food is at home, and I don't know if I'm going to make it. And I, uh, by looking at my map up the top, I think my bedroll is despawned when I load to the level two. Oh, boy. I'm in trouble. 
It's all right. I found some painkillers in, in my hand. I now have 54 health. Still not much at all, but enough to hopefully get me through the next little bit. That was a bad time. Please don't give me nitro powder. Oh, green dye. You know what? I'll take that. Let's make... Oh, it's the mean green oh shit machine. The, sh the green shotgun is back. If it's not purple, it's got to be green. We all know the rules. There are rules to 7 days to die, and that is one of them. First rule is all weapons and tools must be purple if possible. Second rule is if not purple, shotguns must be green. There's a bunch of others as well, but we can't get into that right now. But I've got the shoddy ready to tear some ass apart when I get to the top of this place. There's going to be birdies and lots of things that I don't like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I do have the sledgy. I back myself in with the sledgy these days more often than I probably should. I'm out of water. I'm out of food. I'm almost out of health. There are the cobra chickens. Take care of you and take care of you. Nice and easy. You see them early. They're not that bad. It's when they sneak up on you from behind and dig their talons into the back of your skull. That's when you have a problem. All the loot boxes are ready to go. What have you got for me? Weapons bag. Something. Pistol and bullets. Not great. Give me something better. Come on. Schematics. Anything at all. And you just... You're just really giving me nothing this time, aren't you? You're really not giving me anything useful at all. I'm encumbered. I always figured more compound bows that I don't have any use for. Oh, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, that was bad. Good job, Josh. You absolute bloody muppet. Remember at the start of this episode when I had a broken ankle because I fell into a hay bale? Well, that time I just jumped off a freaking roof because that's a smart thing to do, isn't it, Josh? You're almost dead. Thank God I had those painkillers on me because otherwise that would have been the end of my little journey right there. I would have splashed on the ground in a hail of broken bones and blood and no one would ever hurt from me ever again. Oh, I just, I just hate myself sometimes. I make decisions like that and I just rule it for the rest of the day. But... I know I started this episode saying that I, I needed to make my killing card. I'm not sure I talked about this already, but I don't have the tools. I don't have the, the crafting stations to actually do that. I need to make it out of concrete. I have the cobblestone. Oh, actually, I can make stuff out of cobblestone, can't I? Shotgun shells. Thank you, Carve. Give me that. Can, can I make anything? Can I make one eight out of uh, concrete? But what about, like, cobble? No, it's like flagstone in here, isn't it? Flagstone. What can I make with flagstone? I can make... Can I make wedge tips? I can make wedges... Oh, I might be able to make it out of wedges. Maybe I'll spend the night just, um, in fact, I might be able to hit up one more barn on the way home. Maybe like the next door one and get some more cobblestone blocks just to start making the things I need to start thinking or start making even uh, my my XP grinder. You, break you. There's lots of things I need to do. I might need to do some testing in Zerudal Park just to make sure the design of my head actually works before I bring it into this because I don't have time for mistakes. A mistake here will cost me dearly, and I don't want to do that. That was a good raid in this building, wasn't it? I'm glad I did that one. Oh, some more concrete over there. I do have my shovel on me, but I don't have any inventory space. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'll take it. I'm not sure if I have a hoe at home, and if I don't, then I can scrap it there. I can run the last couple of hundred meters with a broken ankle and with one too many things in my backpack. Oh, no. I don't know where it is. It's very, very dark. I heard him. I heard him. I don't know where. I think he's over here. I need to keep eyes front. Turning my back and running away from a wolf seems like a great idea, but it's often the last thing you decide to... There he is. Oh, you're a, you're a dark puppy. Look how dark. Look how well he blends into the environment. I had no chance of seeing if he didn't come directly for me. That's why you've got to keep your eyes front. You turn your back for one second, and suddenly you've got a dog hanging off the back of it. Give you all your steaks. 28 stakes, that'll do for me. Thank you very much. I appreciate your sacrifice for my well-being. Let's get you, and I don't need... I know I could... Oh, you know what? Let's just get rid of the paintbrush. There's no point in me carrying that around. Could have used that for a shiv. We'll eat the rest of this uh, animal fat, though. But I need it just to try and get my stamina back up. I'm really low on stamina. Really not enjoying it. I have made it back. It looks very red out here, but that's because I'm technically just inside the desert. Not because it's a horde night tonight. At least I hope it's not. If it is, I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm just going to nerd pom away up to my balcony because I can't bother dealing with going through the actual way anymore. Up like this. And one more. There we go. And there. There we go. Don't want to risk it with my broken legs and my encumbrance and shit. Oh, all the way across. All right. Home. Sweet home. It's good to be back. Whew. I had to stop on the way and kill a bunch of zombies. In fact, while I'm here, let's quickly put my bedroll back down again so I can spawn back here in case I do die. That was really annoying. I had to kill a bunch of zombies, but I got an extra skill point as nighttime comes in. So now, where? what's the next one, you reckon? What level actually am I? 
I'm level 15 on day three, which is pretty good, I think. Um, cardio might be a good one to go for. Agility, I don't know. I don't. Maybe, maybe since I rely on stealth so much, maybe go ninja movement. But I can't because I need to put more into agility. This is the thing. It's it's always it's always a toss up with what I want to do. Oh, lucky loot! I definitely need a lucky loot one because I'm relying on loot so much. And maybe, maybe some more in here. Maybe a heavy metal. Maybe a skull crusher. Yeah, I think a skull crush is the way to go. The old sledgy boy is doing me some good favors. I need to rely, uh, well, just like back myself in with that a little bit more. Got a whole bunch of crap all through here. In fact, where's my, there it is. I know I cooked myself. I did cook myself a bunch of food. I didn't bring it with me, which I regret it. But now at least I can sit here, chop down on some whatever animal this used to be and just kind of enjoy the sunset. I've gone through all my inventory and only taken out what I deem to be absolutely necessary. Uh, and quite annoyingly, I realized as I was going through that I don't have the point in um, MasterChef, so I can't cook grilled meat, which is annoying. I have the grill, it's right there, and I have all this meat to cook up, but I can't do it because apparently my guy's not smart enough to get this hunk of meat and just go, blah, and just put it on the grill, because that's all he apparently needs to do, but he can't do it, which is super duper not frustrating. I'm not angry at all. Oh, I've got my bandages. In fact, I need to make myself some first aid bandages. Let's grab these ones and... Oh, wait. No, I don't have the skill point, do I? Oh, that's so frustrating. Fine, whatever. I'll do that at a later date. But looking reasonably okay. Got all that stuff in there. Got a bunch of nice stuff through there. I took out the pink dye that was on my club and I put it onto my uh, my compound bow because that was the smarter decision to do. Unusual for me to do the smart thing, I know, but I'm trying my best to make that a habit. Everything else in here looks good. Okay, I think I'm uh, I'm looking reasonably okay here. Tomorrow, in fact, before I do anything, where is all of my, uh, this one? Cobblestone rocks. And then flagstone. Yes, I can make a bunch. How much of this am I going to need? I think I'm going to need at least, in fact, how much of this can I make? 208. That's definitely far more than I need. Let's do some quick quick math in my head. Uh, let's see. It needs to be, I usually make my killing corridors 13 long. So that's 26 uh 52 so let's make 52 of those craft that that's also going to need uh 13 26 on the bottom so let's go like that um craft there we go but then on the edges of that i'm going to need some corner blocks as well some ramps i'm gonna need 26 of those and then i'm going to need all importantly Maybe half blocks? No, I need wedge tips. Where are my wedge tips? Wedge tips for now, I'll change them to one eighth blocks later on down the track. But the wedge tips work almost as well as the one eighth. Where, where are you? Are you going to be in here? Something going to make it hard to find? Wedge tip. I'm going to need eight of those. Boom. And that is all the parts you need to make a very, very, very rudimentary killing corridor. Although that's going to be at ground level, so I need to make a couple of boxes to like lift it up into the sky, but that's all right. That's like, that's the spine of the killing corridor done. On top of that, I'm going to need some barbed wire. I've got a little bit, not enough, but I'm gonna have some more in here. Let's see, where's my iron? There it is. So I need 26 barbed wire as well, Boop, just like that. No room in queue, well, of course there's not because I'm crafting everything under the sun. But 26 barbed wire, I could probably also stand to make some poles the standard way just to kind of protect along the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to be good. But that is going to be tomorrow Josh's job because this Josh and this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. First of all, thank you to all the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure the like button down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.